Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on issue 51 of Sonic the Hedgehog, the IDW series. Now, yeah, we're pretty much now up to issue 51, and this is meant to cover what happened after Starline's downfall, and how Eggman is going to try and attack Sonic, Tails, and Bell with full force. And the cover mainly has a team posing and Bell looking afraid. And let's get on with the story. It starts off with Sonic running fast as he can from a whole army of Eggman robots. And Sonic saying, I don't know about guy, about you guys, but I'm about thunned out for the day. And of course, we see how they try to escape the quick as they can and find somewhere to take a breather. But of course, we see how Tails and that wants to try and figure out who he is. And we see how how Belle points out that she thinks it's all Starline's fault. And pointing out how the two hive guns are Surge and Kitsumi, who are also part of Starline's experiments. And summoned the army of Badnax. And after seeing how Eggman fought him, and Belle saying... I saw it myself. Dr. Starline is no more. Big oof. And of course, it has been confirmed by Ian Flynn that Starline is dead, but will bring him back if fans demand it. So we see how Tails says, I was ambushed by Kid. He fell unconscious when I disabled his water pack. Uh, same with Zurich. She jumped me. We fought, and then I saw her get crushed under a ton of junk. But of course... It turns out in the recycling center, Surge has survived, and her planning to kind of recover from everything she's been through, and try and get back at Sonic on full force. And we see how that since Belle is a bandic, she's pretty much wired into the city, saying, I can't connect, but I do have a record of a hangar in the next district over. We could grab a shuttle. I don't know, I could hotwire and fly it, I'm sure, but getting from here to there with all these bandits, and we see how Sonic's got a plan that he's planning to kind of keep keep Eggman distracted, but point out that they can't leave Kid Sumi behind, and will also need someone to escort Belle, so having Tails to help do it. And of course, we see how Sonic says, Hey Eggman! Six Jillian Bannocks, and not one of them can keep up. Boring. Recon has spotted Sonic in the Blue District, boss. I know. I can hear him from here. No sign of tails, bells, or the intruders from earlier. So he's beating me. So, of course, decides to send Metal for a personal mission and lets him do what he needs to do. We kind of see how how Eggman has a whole army of his badniks to take on Sonic, saying, Don't worry, the fall won't end you. The sudden stop, however. And of course, they try to attack him any way they can, but end up getting destroyed or blown up. We see how Bell is kind of freaked out by some of the badniks, and Bell saying, Tails, there's more! And of course, Tails is pretty much support. They manage to get to the hangar, unaware of Metal being there. And of course, Eggman's saying, Having fun yet? <laughs> and of course, Sonic managing to take on the Bannix and saying, Fodles. But also seeing that more Manta bots are showing up, and of course, tries to take them out as much as they can, but kind of also getting more surrounded by more and more. We also see how because of his fight with Surge, Sonic doesn't have any le energy left, but still has to keep things going. And Eggman saying, Wrecking my stuff is one thing. Stealing it is adding insult to injury. And of course, they managed to get off in their transporter. Sonic saying, I get it. Good thinking, buddy. And of course, Metal showing up as well, we see how Metal tries to get up to where Sonic is, they manage to try and get to the transport, and this is 
Bell manages to rescue Sonic. We see how Sonic says, Did you call off the Bannix or did you just give up? I didn't want to rob Metal Sonic of his moment. And of course, Metal Sonic goes full force, causing the transport to go down in flames, also causing other Bannix to get burnt alive or blown up. And we kind of see how Bell, Sonic, as well as Tails, managed to survive perfectly, but they hardly left the city, but knowing that it's going to be a problem now, trying to get out now. And yeah, this was the story. So I think the story is sort of okay. I think after issue 50, I think issue 51 can't really top up after a big epic moment like issue 50 because we saw Starline's defeat. We saw how Surge and Kitsumi were kind of taken down single-handedly despite Sonic and Tails being on their toes full force. I think this feels more like a sort of toned down version, but I think it's still an okay issue. So I think it still deserves a thumbs in the middle. Kind of alright, but kind of okay. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.